Hi, welcome to another Coach Johnny video. This video is going to cover butterfly slide. Now you have to have watched both my videos on how to recover straight up and how to recover with rotation in order to be able to execute this. You also have to know your orders of operation for your orders of movement. Now when you're trying to do a butterfly slide, you need to get a good purchase with a pushing leg. So whether it be blocker side or glove side, I've got to pay attention to this knee line that my knee is follow. In order to get a good push, my leg has to come up in front of it. So I get weight on the ball of my foot here. If I don't get the weight there, I get my toe too far back, I'll slip or I'll rotate. Or if I get too far out, I'll slip and I'll rotate. It also interferes with how I'm moving. So we have to make sure that knee comes up inside on an angle and that foot lands in front of that knee. So if I do it here, it looks like this, right? Out in front, weights onto this hip. This side of my body is isolated. Sticks covering my five hole, out. I can get a good pop. The key I can use is when I lift my leg up, I can slam it into the ice really hard to get a good bite into the ice. It makes my push more solid and easier, but it will tear up the ice, or in this case, the ice. If you're practicing this at home, Using these hockey shot revolutionary tiles, I do not suggest stamping hard, let alone maybe doing butterfly slide on them, as they will tear them up. There is some synthetics out there I've heard of that are really great. We're going to try and get a good foot up in order to get a good push. So whether it be glove side or blocker side, we're getting up. We have to remember our orders for getting up, gain. Locker comes out, leg comes up and inside. On the glove side, glove comes up, leg comes up and inside. Now the other thing is, you're going to rotate. You have to do two eyes and head, and change where your blade is pointing. Whenever I'm butterfly sliding, if my blade is pointing here, I'm going 90 degrees to out here. If my blade is pointing at you. I'm going 90 degrees to my push. The only way I can change my angle is getting very sloppy and losing power and rotating upwards. But as you can see, I've extended my leg already and lost a bit of power. So it's a lot easier to drive hard with the knee and get the rotation there. Same with if I'm doing a blocker side. And roll. Get my rotation up, drive hard, get that rotation. See where my, stick, my skate blade is pointed? Where everything's pointing, I can pull, right? So if I get a good plant and my foot is in front of this knee line, I can get a good hard push, make some distance. In this case, I'm just trying to flat, just to give you a demonstration. Right? I don't want to be too far out front, too far behind. Lots of people cheat, put their foot way back, dig in with the toe. Be able to get a grip. Ideally, for that, you want high inside edge skates just so you've got a bigger bite. It's a little tougher to shuffle, but it works so much better. And as a goalie, you're almost always on the inside of your skate blade, your inside edge. Now we've done with the leg push, let's work on sliding the leg. So when I'm going to slide, there's little subtle things I do that you can't really see. First one is after my leg comes up, and I want to slide. If I leave my hip and my knee in line, it's very hard to control when I tend to rock, lose form, and it's very hard to control this knee or where this toe does because it's all in line. So the physics say if I have something at a little bit of an angle, it's a little easier to control than if it's stripped down. So what I do from my hip bone outwards is once my leg comes up, my hip shifts just a little. Now my knee is outside of my, under my very edge of my shoulder, while my hip is still almost on my center line. This allows me to push my toe into the ice on that sliding pad. Now I can control with this toe and how far wide or tight my butterfly becomes and how much I'll rotate it on. Without this subtle shift in that hip, we quite often find that when we slide, rock over, tip over, roll over our pad. It's very subtle, you can't really see it through the goalie gear, 
but trust me, from my hip to my knee on my femur, it's going out. So I can start controlling it with more than one muscle. If it's straight, I'm controlling it just with one muscle up on my hip. If I move it out, now I control it with the muscle in my hip plus my butt muscle plus my groin muscle. All those muscles together can control all the drag on this leg a lot better. So if I'm going blocker side, shift it out, push. I'm going to the side, shift it out, push. Nice subtle things. Gain, blocker side also. Shift it out, drive that toe into the ice. So when I push, this toe's driven in the ice and doing wiggle. I can control where this leg points the rebound. Right? Nice simple little tips. Practice it. Remember, if I'm going to do it, and I'm getting a good push position for my foot, I should also be in a position where I can stand up. If I'm not in a position, I can easily stand up. It's a poor position to start my push. Other things about the butterfly slide is we want to remain isolated. Top half and bottom half. Left and right side. So if I'm sliding to my glove side, whether I'm rotating or sliding flat, I want to isolate this glove. So that when I slide, it's all isolated. So I don't have to think about what my body's doing. Right? Then if that's the shot, squat, and I'm going to sit here, and I rotate and you shoot. Well, it's not going to hit me, it's just outwards. If I don't isolate my half of my body, and I turn and open up, now you shoot and I have to track while I move really hard. And as you saw when I opened up, there's lots more spots to score. Here, if you're not going to hit me, I know you're going to go out here or up here. So I just explode outwards, right? As I track. Instead of being moving and then having to track and move. Right? I'm taking away your options so that my options are easier. Same with block your side. If I make a save and you're a shot, I rotate, and I'm going to push. Now you're not going to hit me. It's just outwards. Explosion. Everything explodes up. Right? If I don't isolate left and right, and I rotate and push and I open up, what do you see? Holes, puck and bounce. You shoot at the track, figure it out. Moving more parts, just keep it simple. Stay compact, force the puck to go around you. Bad goals are the pucks to go through you. Good goals might be where they go around you, where it's a good bona fide play. Nice and simple. Isolate my hips from my rotation part. Then I isolate left and right for my recovery. That's all it is. Hope you have fun practicing this stuff and find these videos useful. Enjoy your time. Stay safe out there. Thanks for watching Coach John. Never be heard. Now I'm coming 10 years in this music. Weapon of choice, it ain't a brand new movement. Been rocking Japan as I make my way through it. But the scene here's a wasteland like a typhoon hit. All I know is I'm ready to go. Just give me the mic and I'm ready to roll. That real hip hop like you already know. Let's keep it real.